Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health, and coaching pack background. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We try to do that. This is our Life Lesson Series number 289. Uh, life may be throwing you curveballs. If it is, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will get you in touch with me or a uh, member of my team, and we can begin to work through some of the challenges that are in front of you. The so first thing is life may be teaching you to hold on to what's important to you. Oftentimes, many things compete for our comp for our uh, mindset, for our competition, for, the for what we value. Many things are competing with us to gain our attention. And so that internal competition is hardly ever a really good thing, but we sometimes treat it like it is. Um, it's, it's hardly ever a good thing, mainly because at the end of the day, competition leads to angst and can lead to kind of pushing ourselves in a direction that doesn't really serve us very well. It doesn't necessarily mean that we can get to a better space within ourselves, but it does certainly mean that we need, at least in part, to connect with, um, you know, getting more purpose-driven. And the more purpose-driven we are, the easier it is to actually accomplish the things that matter to us. Don't live in the past. Look, the past is something we cannot change. We'd love to be able to change it. I think nearly every one of us would love to be able to change the past in some way or another, whether it's give ourselves more time, whether it's relive certain aspects, whether it's take things less for granted than we used to, whether it's learning new skills and going back and attacking something from a new perspective. However, we do not yet currently have a time machine. Maybe we'll have one someday, but we don't have one today. And thus, spending time with thoughts of the past is really kind of a wasted, um, you know, bit of time. Look, we never get the time back we waste on the past. So therefore, kind of looking at things from a present moment to create the future we want mindset is the best thing we can do. Again, learning and growing in a direction that is progressive and productive is also important. Every day we have an opportunity to learn. Every day we have an opportunity to grow. How we do it, if we do it, that's on us and our beliefs and, and our ability to focus in a good way is a direct result of whether we are focused in the right way to be able to grow in a way that's going to lead us where we want to go. The next thing there is learning. Learn from others. Learn from the mistakes. Learn from the, learn from the good things they're doing. Learn from the bad things they're doing. Learn from the things we don't know or we think we know. Learn to be humble but inquisitive at all times. The more we spend time learning, the easier it is to understand how to master ourselves and our emotions. Mastery of emotions is essential to successful living because if we let our emotions guide us rather than our approach of, of personal power and some degree of logic, it can be extremely challenging to get uh, a, um, a, a decent enough level to be able to connect with a uh, valuable way of uh, connecting in a good manner and ultimately um, uh, you know connecting in a in a in a manner that's that's useful and helpful and ultimately um, you know connecting in that manner can be super valuable and and important in a good way. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this is something that is useful and we can see what we can do about moving things forward. Um, in any event, please feel free to reach out. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below, all that good stuff, and we'll see what we can do from there.